it's been a long time since I made a video like this, but I think it's about time that I speak on something that everybody has to face. And the solutions are very difficult, but it's easy to, easy to at least imagine how to overcome these issues. We're talking about depression and anxiety that men feel. Even women feel this depression and anxiety that's out there right now. I've had quite a few consults with young men, and I just picked up a few middle-aged women, I would say between 45 and 45, that are facing a lot of overwhelming issues when it comes to just their daily lives, what they feel their purpose is in life, and this spans across both sexes really pronounced with the men because I think the ladies get a lot of social support in that you, you go girl, things are good, don't worry. And they can vent a little bit about their issues and their depression. Or the background noise I am work. Kind of just traveling between jobs, making sure the grid's up. And uh, they get a little the girls get a little bit of support. You know, from their girlfriends and social media and whatnot like that. Yet, it still weighs on them as well. Uh, and uh, the ladies that I've, ca that I've uh, consulted with, it does look weigh on them and they want to vent about it because they feel lost too. But what I've noticed is that even with men that have recently gone through, say, breakup, depression overwhelms them. If they're in a bad relationship that's long term, they're struggling bedroom is dead, uh, they don't feel love, they feel impact, and it, it really the answer to all of these things, guys. You can look out at all the self-help things that are out there, and there is a all good stuff. I don't see too much that's bad. Yeah, some of it's misleading, some of it's a grift. Buy my uh, course, you know, get my book, and I've looked at some of this stuff. It's not bad advice, you know, and when people take this information, repackage it, and resell it, it does reach a certain group of people, and it can help them. Some of these answers are really simple, though, yet they're hard to execute on. Um, and a lot of people are into the too long, didn't read, or they just want an easy solution. Make it go right away right now. Isn't there a step one, step two, step three that I can do and make this go away? I wish. There is, though, and I'm going to tell you guys about it in a little bit. But that's what people want. They want that quick fix. And i got to say, a good, a, a good, a feel-good mechanism is to buy the latest cell phone, do the latest courses. I mean, all kinds of cell phone about it. Name any one of them. If you're a guy, read Mark Manson. If you're, if, you're, if you're a gal, read this doctor so and so, or take her course. Or if you want to do a good business, Grant Cardone, yay, man, do that too. You know, he says, pursue everything, burn the boats, go. Yeah, there's good information there. Is it real practical? It was practical for them, apparently, and they get to sell it. Uh, does that apply? Is, is it simple enough that everybody can execute on it? Absolutely not. If you look at their numbers and the folks that do come out, it, it's kind of a small percentage. And that's not to discourage anybody. Their information is quite good. And some of the some of the things out there are really interesting and entertaining. In fact, they're packaged to be entertaining. And uh, more so than educational a lot of times. There's very few that are highly educational and entertaining. Shout out to guys like Robert Kiyosaki and George Gammon when it comes to finances and Aaron Clary. Not only do they make it entertaining, super practical information. But getting back to being lost, it's kind of a cult when you have to use self-help stuff over and over and over. And I found this in a few of my clients. They couldn't escape the self-help cycle. Man, I did this course, I'm doing everything in it, and it's not quite taking hold for me. I've heard that many times told from men, and even recently from women. Spend the money on these courses, really trying to get into it. The emotional side of these courses can really get you on a high. 
execution of some of this stuff is easy, but it, I think what happens is you get hooked on the course because it makes you feel good. And some of these guys really know that. That's why they're always coming out with this course, that course. Get my latest and greatest. And that's good. You want to feel good? That's great. But there is actually an easy solution. Particularly if you're depressed or have high anxiety and you don't know what to do, things seem super dark. People will say, our people, how in the hell would you even know what to do? I mean, look at you. You're living the dream all the time. Well, you know what the secret to living the dream is? Nightmares are dreams too, so we're always looking for I've had my fair share of nightmares. The nice thing is they don't last. And they get really short if you do the following things. And here's what I'm going to buy. I mean, you're depressed as can be. And you've got all the advice you can ever get. But one thing I notice that even my clients don't do, they can have a vision board, they can do mind movies, they can do hypnosis, they can do all of these things. But there's one element one, that if you don't do all the time, you're not going to get things, it's not going to work. And what is that, or what is that one thing? This is the one thing that will always ensure, over time, massive, massive results. It's this take actions. That's right, it's that simple, really. That's what it is. You take action. You can't sit around and talk about this or vent about your feelings. Even though it makes you feel good, you feel like you've released something. <laughs> Imagine if you had nobody to talk to. And I would just tell one of the female clients too. Imagine if you had nobody to talk to, what'd you do? I'd go crazy, I'd go to tell myself. It's like, no, I want you to take actions, both mental and physical. You take a walk, you work out, you clean something, you organize something, you write a list, you start marking things off the list. But what if I'm tired and I don't want it? There is no time. Actions can be taken. Imagine this. Imagine you were a complete paralyzed quadrant. There's still actions to be taken. You can speak. You can do something with your mind. Those actions is what makes the difference. Of being trapped in a living hell. You might be trapped in a living hell, but you can still take actions and never open. Guess what? Small actions over time result in massive success. Massive. And I know somebody out there is going to say, yeah, well, what if I take the wrong action? That's the problem. I don't know where to start. You guys want to know the secret? I'm the guy. I'm going to give you guys everything. And you don't even have to pay for this. It doesn't matter does not matter where you start unless you're putting together some fantastic Lego puzzle and it requires a base of certain type of blocks <laughs> you don't have to start there you, you can start anywhere and things will start to naturally fall apart. you take any action right wrong indifferent actions have to be taken at all times it doesn't matter just taking a breath is taking an action and it works. I had this one female client and she just was breathing so shallow and she was crying. And so I just had her take some breaths, take some breaths. And I told her, those are actions. You just make yourself take those actions. She started to get great. It's like, okay. But to her, it was silly that I said that. But do you see the power in just doing something that you can control? You control this right here. Even if you're on the spectrum, you still have this. I've seen people on the spectrum that have this, and when they get that glimmer of an action to take, it doesn't matter. Even if they're obsessed with it, just taking action, right, wrong, and different, it doesn't matter. It will sort itself out. You have to take action. Like I said, unless it's some complex project that requires this step or that step first, then you might want to take it in order. But the reality is, if it's day-to-day -day living and you lack of purpose, and you feel like everything's crashing down on you, any action will solve that problem over time. Take an action. Whatever it is, go for a walk, change your scenery, talk to somebody new. You know? uh, and here's, the, here's what goes with them. If you're one of those people, I was telling some clients, if you're one of those people that wants to kind of 
get a bunch of problems off of your, kind of off your chest and out in the open so that you don't have to think about it. You kind of operate that way. Fine. Tell yourself in the mirror. See how different that is. Because when you tell yourself in the mirror, that's you. You have to accept all that accountability. What I find a lot of people like to tell other people about their issues. And sometimes they just want somebody to listen. But the majority of times they're looking for someone to console them. And maybe even offer some advice. And a lot of times they want to defend their laziness and actions. I see this all the time. Inaction is what I'm saying. They want to defend their, their ability to not take actions. And I guess that's what I'm getting at. Is when somebody is complaining about all the woes in their life. And I'm listening to them and I ask them what actions they take, they defend the fact that they haven't taken any actions because of this, because of that. And no matter what those are, I can always break them down into smaller bites. And when you break them into smaller bites that are palatable, those actions count. And they solve your depression, they solve your lack of purpose. Because over time, like I said, they do sort themselves out and you start to I remember one time I was told, Thor, how do you eat an elephant? I know, I know. An elephant's huge, massive, thousands of pounds, heck, tons of meat. How the hell would you eat an elephant? Of course, it's going to get, let's pretend that you have all the refrigerators and all that can get. How would you eat that much? Well, it's overwhelming. It would be like, ah, it's just impossible. A lot of people look at life like the elephant. It's like, I can't eat it all. I don't even know where to start. Well, here's the advice I was given about eating that. And it really taught me a lot about taking action. You eat the elephant one bite at a time, so you just don't start with the two. I remember my dad told me that. Yeah, he was Odin, basically. And I remember going, If it's too much, take a smaller bite. I remember saying, Dad, why, why don't you start with the tail? Don't start with the tail. Because it tastes like shit and you'll lose your appetite and then you won't eat them. That's right. So don't, don't start with the shitty ones. You know, start with something you can do is what the point of that story is. You know, I got a book that's going to be coming out. And well, it's a guide, well, it's a bunch of guide stones and guide steps on why a dominant masculine presence is so important for us to reclaim in today's society. It really, really boils down to because of what we've developed in such a harsh society that's easy, everything is easy, it's easy, pleasure is easy, which is funny because, you know, relationships are not easy. It's splitting us apart. And that's for another story. But we're being kept apart because we're better together than we are. But aside from that, everything is too easy. And because it's so easy, we don't have to take the actions of Men, you're built for combat. Women, you're built for nurture. Those require actions. Those actions have to be taken in order to have a fulfilling life. You don't need a purpose to have a fulfilling life. And fulfillment is way different than happiness. It transcends happiness. Happiness is generated within you. And it's a feeling. It's a feeling in your body. It comes and goes. You don't need it. It's nice. It's exciting. But you could be happy after you ride a roller coaster. It comes and it goes. Fulfillment is much longer than most. It, it endures. And if you're taking actions, you will have a fulfilled life. Even if you take the wrong actions, because we're evolved animals. Our actions will evolve. That's right. We have an evolution of an action. We won't keep making the same actions if they take us down a bad path. You know, eventually you hit rock bottom, those actions will change. That's evolution at work. We're very plastic animals. And this is our strength, is that they need to adapt. And adapt quickly as a plastic animal that thinks for itself.
take any actions, right, wrong, or indifferent, you have to do every single day. I love Jocko's little uh, video because it really exemplifies taking those actions. No matter what falls day you're like, you always say good. See, my father said the same thing. No matter what shit fell in my life, they look at me and smile. Good. <laughs> it would drive us crazy. And when I heard Jocko Romick say the same goddamn thing, it blew me away to, to know that men knew this. And when asked why, he would say good when bad shit happened. He goes, good because it gives you an opportunity to grow. An opportunity to grow. An opportunity to rearm, refit, rethink, stand back up, wipe the shit out of your eyes, and jump back off of the field. It's a reset. Every time the bad shit happens, it's a reset. A reinvention of your masculine self, your feminine innocence. And you take the action based on all of that. Just that's the part. Take a deep breath, stand up, and take an action. That's what counts. That's it. That's the whole purpose of this video. Cheap, simple. If you're stuck on that roundabout where you're going from self help book to self help course to all that stuff, keep in mind this. There's plenty of good stuff out there. You don't need all that stuff to accomplish anything. The honest truth is, if you take small actions every day, that's the key to having rock solid inner game, emotional durability, and physical durability. That's what it takes. And every time you succeed in a small action, you build. It's cumulative. Those actions become easier and stronger. They become a superpower. And after a while, it looks effortless to all those that look inside. Yet you know you had to build things in and to accumulate all these action over time. You don't need all of that stuff. You don't need to spend your time and your money continually on self-help stuff. Although, if you find it entertaining, I encourage you to do so. But if you find that you are unfulfilled and continuing to essentially mentally masturbate with all of the courseware and books that are out there, then I would suggest all you do is start to take action. Action. Every minute, every day. You don't feel like waking up, get up anyway. Take the action. And if you're not a reader, start to read. Expand your ability to use your logical mind and read, and read for enjoyment. Read old fiction for your songs there. So that'll help you break out of that. You must read books. You don't have to read self-help books every time. I know I had some clients that did, and they felt that if they weren't reading or listening to an audiobook, 100% of the time they weren't absorbing enough to be successful. That is complete epic bullshit. You don't need to do that. You don't need to memorize Atomic Habits. Get the main points and move on. You love Atomic Habits, by the way. That's not what I meant. Those guys did a fantastic work. You need to take what you need to take. And you put it into action. And that's really it. You take something from every social interaction and put it into action where you find a way and use that action later on. Be a man of action. Be a woman of action. And yeah, you know, some of my consoles will probably hear this. That's really what it's meant for. But if you think about it long enough, taking those actions, no matter how down you are, or if you're, you know, you just had a baby, maybe you got it's the actions of motherhood that's going to bring you out of that. So, that's good stuff. Find some good girls to talk to. Guys, find some brothers that you can talk to. No worries about that. And then put on put on your warrior face. Get up in the day and take the actions that you have to take. That's what really counts. That's what leaves the things. Is the actions that you take. So that's all I got for today. Like I said, I don't do this too often, but... I figured this one was really important. Hopefully I'll be able to do an episode in the studio about taking actions and giving you guys many more good examples. And if this wasn't enough, of course, you can find me at becomedurable.com. And you can book a console where we can get into extreme detail on how you can start to take action in your life. Even if you are a quadriplegic and can't even move anything that you can speak, we can still get you taking action. Ask me how I know sometimes. What uh, actions can be taken? So you can reach me there. And of course, if you want to 
you want to buy some courseware, please buy a dominant masculine presence and emotional durability. At least if you're a guy, you'll at least have a foundation for taking actions immediately because I lay out the actions that you can take. So if you need those guidestones, then take a look there at a dominant masculine presence and become her own Until then, skull.